So you're thinking of making the move to the greater Austin area and with 2023 right around the corner, naturally, it is probably time to narrow down your options of where exactly you want to end up. And in this video, we're gonna talk about one of the most popular and sought after places in all of the greater Austin area and that would be Round Rock, Texas. In this video, we're gonna talk about everything you need to know about Round Rock and hopefully by the end of the video, help you arrive at your own conclusion as to whether or not it is the right place for you to move. Stay tuned. Hey again everybody, this is Frank with the Living in Austin group at EXP Realty. On this channel, we put out new content about living in Austin, Texas, the good and the bad. So consider subscribing if you haven't already and ring that little bell to get notified anytime we put out a new video. We also love the reach outs we get now all the time from people just like you in need of our help when relocating to the greater Austin area. So don't hesitate, whether you're nine days away or 90, reach out to our team, whether you shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a call any day of the week any time of day. So yes, in this video with 2023 right around the corner, we are talking about everything you'll need to know regarding Round Rock, Texas. And as previously mentioned, it is one of the most popular spots in the entire greater Austin area. And what does that mean? It means that there are a lot of people in Round Rock, Texas. Now, depending on who you are, this could be both a good thing or a bad thing. Let's say you're moving to the state of Texas, let's say you're moving to the greater Austin area, and maybe you're coming from a place that was previously very densely populated, maybe you're looking for a nice change of pace. Well, while Round Rock, Texas is not going to rival a place like San Francisco or Los Angeles or Portland, nothing like that, because ultimately, even though it is a city, it is very suburban in nature. Having said that, the population in Round Rock is right around 125 thousand people. It is the most populated area in the greater Austin area outside of downtown Austin. So what that means is, is if you're looking at places like Leander, Texas, or Georgetown, Texas, or Taylor, Texas, or Pflugerville, Texas, or Cedar Park, Texas, so on and so forth, all of those places are going to have a significantly smaller population than Round Rock. And granted, Round Rock is larger, so of course it will have more people, but what I'm getting at is in Round Rock, Texas, you have rush hour, you have bumper to bumper traffic, you have a lot of people walking around, and while it isn't an urban place necessarily, it's pretty jam packed with people for what it is. So that might be a perfect uh, atmosphere for you. It might be what you're looking for. Maybe you don't want something too quiet or spread out or rural or too suburban. Uh, however, for some people, it might rub them the wrong way. So keep that in mind when going to Round Rock. Note how popular it is and that you're going to have a lot of people living in that area. Now, moving on, another thing worth knowing about Round Rock, Texas is its school district. And that would be the Round Rock Independent School District. For the longest time on this channel, I have talked about the cream of the crop school districts being essentially the Eanes Independent School District, which is very small and it's in the Westlake Hills area, very exclusive. And then otherwise you have the Leander Independent School District and the Round Rock Independent School District. Cream of the crop, great opportunity for your kids. A lot of people think that their school districts have great opportunity and then they move to the state of Texas and all of a sudden these Texas, these Texas public schools are miles ahead of public school districts in other states and Round Rock is no different. For the longest time it has been put on a pedestal of public school districts. Now what I find interesting however is a good metric I like to use sometimes is a website called niche.com where they will rank school districts in the greater Austin area. And for the longest time, Round Rock was number two or it was number three, sometimes number one. Well, when I just checked for 2023, it dropped to number five. So I'm not sure if that necessarily is something against it that recently happened or if perhaps other districts are just catching up and getting better. I do think that's worth noting that it has dropped a little bit in the rankings. However, I wouldn't think too deeply into it either. It is still one of the cream of the crop districts. It is still a place. It's one of the many reasons why Round Rock itself is so popular because yes, it has a lot to offer people who move here, but a lot of people look at it simply for those school districts. So that is something to keep in mind about Round Rock, Texas. Most of our clients have relocated to the greater Austin area with their families. And if that is you, if you're one of the many who are doing so, um, I would consider that about Round Rock, Texas. Up next is the subject of property taxes. And that's something I've talked about on this channel relentlessly. And it's just so you're not blindsided or unprepared. A lot of people, when they're about to move, they get their ducks in a row, they figure out their finances and what they can and cannot afford, so on and so forth. But a lot of them don't consider 
the property tax rates, not just in Round Rock, not just in the greater Austin area, but in the state of Texas. And regarding Round Rock specifically, because it is so sought after and so desirable and such great schools and shopping and all these things that it has to offer, uh, they're going to be a little bit higher in Round Rock than perhaps other places in the greater Austin area. So by default of moving to Texas, you're going to see property tax rates of easily 2%, 2.5% which can be a lot when you're coming from a place where they might be 1% or 0.5% or maybe 1.5%. And in the case of Round Rock, Texas, in some spots of Round Rock, because it is so large, they can be as high as 3%, maybe 2.85, but certainly 3%, and sometimes even above 3%, which in many people's eyes can basically seem like a second mortgage. A lot of people would argue, however, that with the lack of state income tax, it kind of balances out with the property taxes. However, that is something to keep in mind on this channel. We keep it blunt and brutally honest so that no one is uh, blindsided or unprepared, right? Even at risk of discouraging you. So uh, if you're looking at Round Rock, Texas, at least as opposed to perhaps some other uh, suburbs of the greater Austin area that are less popular, it's going to have higher tax rates. So uh, not to necessarily dissuade you, but you want to keep that in mind. Keeping it moving, something else to know about Round Rock, Texas would be the subject of its affordability. Now, when compared to Austin, Texas itself, the city limits Austin proper, that's going to be well over $600,000 as its median home price. Well, in a place like Round Rock, Texas, being a bit removed from the city, you're going to have a median home price of right around half a million dollars. And just a few years back, it was in the high threes. And then a little bit later than that, it was in the mid to low fours. And now it's jumped to 500 just because of everything, right? Um, but that's something worth talking about with Round Rock because a lot of Round Rock's price is because of its demand. And of course, the greater Austin area as a whole is very much in demand in general. But then you factor in that Round Rock is this hub for people to live if they don't want to live in downtown Austin, then all of a sudden you're going to see that reflected in the price. And so as it currently stands, the median home price in Round Rock, Texas is right around half a million dollars as mentioned. Now, because that's a median, that means you can still find homes beneath that. And of course, homes well over that. But because it's Round Rock, it is going to have a steeper median than perhaps the Taylors, the Butas, the Kyles, the Leanders, the Liberty Hills, so on and so forth, places that perhaps are less in demand so sought after. The trade-off, however, is that you do have a lot to do in Round Rock, Texas. It has a lot to offer you, as opposed to these other places that are also suburbs, but they're just plain suburbs. You know, outside of your grocery stores and your schools, there isn't much to do in its competitive uh, cities outside of the city of Austin, Texas. And so that's worth noting. Um, half a million dollars for a popular suburb is the going rate right now in the greater Austin area. And if that's not right for you, I would encourage you to perhaps look at other nearby suburbs, maybe within 10 to 20 minutes of either Round Rock or downtown Austin that are going to be significantly cheaper with their median home prices. Now, real quickly before moving on, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If we're providing any value for you, consider hitting the like button as it helps our channel grow. Remember to subscribe and lastly, share our content with anybody you know who's wanting to learn more about living in Austin, Texas. All right, up next, something else worth knowing about Round Rock, Texas would be its location. And this is very interesting because Round Rock, as mentioned, is very large. And the reason its location is relevant is because while yes, many of us do work from home, Many of us do not, in fact, work from home. And if you're moving to the greater Austin area, and let's say you're not located uh, to work in Round Rock specifically, chances are you're either working out of corporate downtown Austin or you're working out of the tech hub in North Austin. And so Round Rock, Texas is interesting because let's say you live in Southeast Round Rock, then you're maybe 15 to 20 minutes max from the city of Austin. However, what if you're living in Northwest Round Rock, Texas, then your commute could easily look like 30 to 45 minutes from downtown Austin, especially if you factor in some nasty traffic, you could be looking at an hour of a commute sometimes. And so that is worth noting if you see yourself in the scenario of having to commute. Now, uh, the side factor to that is if you are perhaps going to be commuting to the aforementioned tech hub in North Austin, depending on where you are in Round Rock, Texas, that could be as short 
as 10 to 15 minutes, but on the longer end, probably 25 to 30 minutes because Round Rock itself is northwest of the city and with the tech hub being in North Austin, by default, regardless of where you are in Round Rock, it's going to be a shorter drive than going downtown. Uh, but that is something worth noting. If you're not going to be working in Round Rock, Texas, consider the commutes. And that is another reason why Round Rock is so popular because with so many people relocating to Austin as they do, so many of them are doing so for those tech jobs. And naturally, they're going to look at a place that is close enough to that tech hub so that their commute doesn't have to be so bad. All right, up next, talking about everything you'll need to know regarding Round Rock, Texas, perhaps the most important one that I briefly mentioned earlier in this video would be the things to do in Round Rock, Texas. That is the big question. Why is Round Rock so popular outside of the city itself? Because of what it has to offer. It has the Round Rock Premium Outlet Malls. It has Ikea. It has Kalahari, the largest indoor water park in the country, I believe. It has parks. It has Del Diamond. It has its own downtown area with great walkability and different bars and restaurants and boutique shops. So it has a lot to offer. And then as mentioned, being depending on where in Round Rock, roughly 15 to 25 minutes max from the tech hub, that means you are that far away from the domain. And the domain is an absolute uh, popular location for either shopping or bar hopping with its Rock Rose uh, clubs and all of that good fun stuff. So while I'd never argue that Round Rock, Texas is necessarily a substitute for the city of Austin, right? You're not gonna be able to do all the things in Round Rock that you wanna do in a city like Austin, Texas. I acknowledge that, however, if you're wanting to do something, you're not necessarily going to have to leave Round Rock, or if you do, you won't have to go very far to not be bored, to have something to do. And the same cannot be said for other suburbs like Buda or Kyle or uh, Leander or Liberty Hill or Jonestown or Lago Vista or Cedar Park or Hutto or Taylor. Those places are going to be, uh, yes, further from the city and they're not going to offer as many things to do that will keep you from being bored the way that Round Rock does. And so that is something that really feeds the popularity of Run Rock, Texas. It's not super far from downtown Austin to begin with, but even if you don't wanna have to go downtown, rest assured you'll have enough to do. So there you have it. In a nutshell, pretty much what you'll need to know about Round Rock, Texas, if it is on your radar and if you are planning a move to the greater Austin area. For great reason, Round Rock, Texas might be the perfect spot for you or you and your family, or perhaps for other reasons, it just might not be the right fit. And ultimately, that is what we are here for, helping people just like you find that perfect spot and relocate to the greater Austin area. But again, the only way we can do that is by you reaching out to us. So do not hesitate whether you're nine days away or 90. Reach out to our team, whether you shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a call any day of the week, any time of day, it is what we love to do. And as mentioned on this channel, we put out new content about living in Austin, Texas, the good and the bad. So consider subscribing if you haven't already and ring that little bell to get notified anytime we put out a new video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Consider liking the video if we've been providing any value. Share it with anybody you know. And until the next one, you guys, my name is Frank. This is Living in Austin, Texas, and we will absolutely catch you later.